And if the vibration is big, then it seems like the attraction becomes extremely, extremely fast. It's loud, it's clear. When the vibration is powerful, it manifests fast. When the emotion is aligned, it manifests without distraction. What I want to do is I want to amplify my emotions. If you amplify your emotion, if somebody sat here and they had their emotions hooked to a monitor and this person was emotionless, this would be the line, yes? Emotionless peace, just total emotionless. If this person got extremely, extremely angry on that monitor, how would it show? The amount of your emotion shows the size of the vibration. If this person was extremely, extremely excited, draw it out, use your hand, what would that chart look like on the monitor? Same thing, no? Same thing. That shows the size of the vibration. The size of the vibration, if the vibration is big, then it seems like the attraction becomes extremely, extremely fast. It's loud, it's clear. When the vibration is powerful, it manifests fast. When the emotion is aligned, it manifests without distraction. Just a reminder for everyone, come in. We actually have a Manifesting Miracles event happening soon. I don't know if you guys attended one before, but this time we're going to do it a lot different. Back in 2019, I went up into the mountains in the Himalayas with my spiritual master, Master Akshar. Went through a whole pilgrimage and initiation journey to do something that's very different to the usual law of attraction and manifestation techniques. There was no scripting, there was no vision boards. It was more to do with allowing the universe to manifest through you. And that's by opening minus chakras, major chakras, and taking that energy out through third eye of a third eye meditation and being able to manifest in the outer dimension, which really enhances the results that you get in this physical reality. Hence, that's why it's called Manifesting Miracles. If you guys haven't got tickets to the event already, it's a 30-hour live training. It's going to be on Zoom, so you can tune in from anywhere around the world. And uh, right now, there's like a 90% off the ticket price for the early bird special. So if you haven't got a ticket already, I encourage you guys, you can click on the first link in the description and get your tickets now. I look forward to actually meeting you guys virtually, being able to get to know you guys a little better and help you towards your manifestations, whatever that be. It could be love, it could be wealth, it could be your purpose, your life purpose. So see you guys there. Blessings. Namaste. We are looking at two things in manifestation. We're looking at the amplification of an emotion and we are also looking at the alignment of an emotion. These two things. My master always says, if you want to manifest anything in life, you got to be intent. He always says, the person who is most intense gets the manifestation. And what is intense? Intense is this aligned and great and big emotion. Now, so, is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? Again, just like everything in life, it's a neutral thing. Because if you are in negative emotions and it's amplified, and you are aligned with hating someone, you are going to manifest that reality. So what is our method of communication? Is our method of communication through scripting, through incantations, affirmations, through vision boards. I tell you, the majority, if you really look deep at every single law of attraction, technique, strategy, modality, you will realize behind it all is to stimulate or trigger emotion. 
If you look at a vision board, does it make you happy? It makes you happy. If you script something, the more you script, the more you write, do you think about it more? Do you get more emotional about it? Yes. If you visualize something, you visualize it more, do you get more feeling about it? Yes. So, actually, you, there's so many different things you can do. I don't want this Manifesting Miracles to be one of those where it looks like every single YouTube video and say, okay, script, okay, visualize, okay, do No, actually... Everybody, everybody's emotions are triggered slightly differently. Some things work for other people better than... Do you understand what I'm saying? Everybody... So, what you need to account for is... If I want to communicate effectively with the universe to say what I want, I should just be thinking, how do I express my emotions most? Some is through dance. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Right? I'm not a dancer yet, so it doesn't do me any good because I'm too, too busy thinking, what am I supposed to do? But those who dance, they're just they're joyful. They're having fun. True or true? So actually, those who love to dance, that's great. You should dance all the time because that's, that puts you in your positive vibes instantly. Are you guys understanding what I'm saying? I, I, I want to give you the reason behind everything rather than just giving you some tools so that, oh, you're like, oh, I don't know. I just got told to do this. If you know the reasoning behind it, you will find what is most suitable for you to be able to amplify your emotions. Okay, we're getting some ahas. So... We want to amplify the emotions and we want to align the emotions. Okay? And usually it would happen in this particular sequence, actually. 